can see the time. Okay. Good morning and happy Friday, everybody. Um, I hear that there's a lot of um, cocktail parties going around town. So a lot of you have asked me to do something with some little wine glasses and a bottle of wine. So today we're going to do a very abstract uh, watercolor uh, painting with wine glasses and a bottle of wine. So what I would like to do is uh, tell you what colors I'm using. I'm using you, my usual colors. Nothing has changed. So I'm using yellow, red, blue, dark blue, dark red, and dark yellow. Okay? So we're going to do the um, painting right now. And you can see my little plate so that you can see, uh, you know, what paints I'm using right now. So we're going to start right now with the glasses of wine. And I'm going to start with the lighter red. And what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of red on here and then rinse my brush and just take clear water and go around and let that paint go wherever it wants. See that? I'm going to put a little straight line here so that we know where the wine goes. And then I'm going to go to the one in the back here. And I'm not going to go straight to that line where the red is. And this one is going to be a little bit lighter for now because we're just walking out our spaces, right? Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put some water on my uh, wine bottle because I don't really want this to be too strong. And I'm going to take my usual manganese blue paint and I'm just going to let it go wherever it wants to go. And I'm going to put a little darker over here. And notice how I'm not keeping like straight lines or anything. We know that the color is there, but and this here is going to be part of the bottle too. So I'm going to put a little bit of that blue here and I'm going to leave the center um clear because that's going to be our label and then we're going to have a little bit of the darker red next to this one here because what we're doing is we're putting this glass of wine in the back see that and I'm not being too careful for it to be you know perfect or anything like that we know we have a glass of wine right and that's what makes this uh, really nice is having the different colors and the different shapes and I'm constantly going around with my clean brush and I'm gonna put a little round area here so that we know that the glass of wine is full it won't be by the time you're finished right just make sure you don't drop your brush into your wine glass okay so that goes there and See, we're getting some color in here, but I'm not really being specific. This here is bothering me, so I just take a clean brush with a little water and let it go. This is perfectly fine, and this here, you can just walk it out. See, I don't have any uh, paint in my brush, just a little bit of water. And now we're going to have the handles of the um, wine glasses, and we're going to make that a little bit of blue, so that it's a reflection of the bottle of wine here. See that? And what I like about this is it doesn't have to be exact, you know. So I'm going to take a little bit of my um, yellow and my little dark yellow here. And I'm going to mix them together. And I'm going to work that into the rim of my wine glass. And I'm going to take a little bit of my light blue and come in here. And it's going to make it a little bit green type of looking, but that's okay. And I'm going to go straight down in here. And what happens is when you mix the, the green with the red, it almost makes like a brown color. So I'm just going to bring that up here. It's getting a little distorted because I'm upside down, but that's okay. Okay, so it's a little bit too wet there. I'm going to take my paper towel, pick it up, and then I'm going to come back later and put some more color in there. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my dark blue and I'm going to go underneath my label and put a little bit of that color in there and let the paint just fall wherever it wants. It's going to follow the water, so it's going to be a little bit darker. And I'm going to come up here and do the same thing with a little bit of my dark blue. And it's going to go underneath the neck and underneath the lip here. And again, I rinse my brush and I come over here and I'm just going to walk that out. 
So there's my bottle of wine, right? And I'm not going to do anything to the bottle anymore. I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to come back to the red. And I'm going to start with my light red again. And I'm going to come here and accent that. And move it up here. Okay, so now we have our two glasses of wine. Now, we need to put a background on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet my whole background like I normally do. And I'm not going to touch the words that say vino on it because we want that to be a different color. So I'm just going to drop some of my yellow here in the background. And this is a really bright yellow, uh, which will make your wine glasses pop. And I'm just right now filling in the color with the yellow. And it's going to go in here because the glasses are transparent, right? So it's going to show up in, in the middle of our glasses here. So I'm going to put a little bit more um, yellow on here. And remember, this is just plain old watercolor paper. I'm not doing anything special. And now for the words, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my paper around because that I cannot do upside down. But um, I'm going to take my dark um, brown which is kind of a yellowy color. And when you're doing letters, the left side of the letters are going to be the ones with the heaviest uh, line. So I'm going to do just the left. I'm going to do the Y and the N. And the left of the O. And then I'm just going to connect them all together. And I'm going to do a really straight line. See that? And this one bled a little bit. No big deal. Just make that one a little bit larger. I'm going to turn it upside up again and I'm going to come out with that same little yellow here and mix it with my light yellow so I'm going to make a little bit of the darker yellow and I'm going to come next to my bottle and drop some of that paint in there clean my brush and move it around I'm going to come dark in here because that's going to be my shade my shadows And I have to ground the glasses and the bottle so that they're not floating in midair. So I'm going to come underneath here with my yellow. Go really around here. Walk it out. Scrub it. Okay. And um, the wine glasses, I'm going to put a little bit of dark in here, which is where I messed up before. Remember that? I'm going to put a little line in here. And see here, the water got to be too strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more of that blue. That light blue and pick up while the, my brush is wet a little bit of the darker blue and let that go wherever it wants to go. Okay, so I think that pretty much does it. It's a uh, it's very simple little uh, practice uh, work. So I'm going to shade this here so that it gives it a little bit more definition. And now with this area here, remember this one bled here, I'm going to come a little bit stronger on here. Because now it's dry. Okay. So walk out your red. And here we go. Oh, and the label in the middle is a little bit too white. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that blue in here just to give it a reflection. 
so that we know that there's something in there so enjoy your painting happy friday everybody let me know what you what you want to paint send me a suggestion and i'll be happy to paint it for you